Freedom Service Dogs helps transform pups into custom trained assistance dogs for both veterans and clients living with disabilities, but they can't do it alone. Freedom Service Dogs relies on volunteers to help with everything from boarding to training puppies. With more, we're joined by Coco correspondent Karen Rosnick, who's at Freedom Service Dogs in Englewood. Hey Karen, have you found a puppy to take home yet? <sighs> Oh, there's lots here to choose from, Jackie. This is a really amazing program. Now, if you're the type of person that wants a dog, maybe, but isn't sure if you're ready for the long-term commitment, there's actually volunteer programs here at Freedom Service Dogs where you can take a puppy home for a few months or take one of their dogs in training home for just a few days. And with me is Kathy Kennedy. She's a volunteer puppy trainer, and she's got Hatchie with her. Hi there, Kathy. Hi there. This is Hatchie. He's a four-month-old Labrador Retriever in training, just starting out. How is he doing? He's doing great. Very, very smart, picking up on things very quickly, but you know, he just got a long way to go, so. He is adorable. So how did you get involved with the puppy training program at Freedom Service Dogs? You know, I raced for another group on different coasts before, and when I found out that Freedom was here, it's like a, a jewel in our backyard that we don't know about. I was able to uh, come over and offer my experience and help out here and be more hands-on and raise puppies for them, and I just love it. I mean, it's, it's so great to be local. Well, thank you so much for volunteering your time. Can you tell us a little bit about Freedom Service Dogs and the kind of uh, things that they do here? Sure. Freedom Service Dogs is a uh, Denver nonprofit where we unleash the power, or the, excuse me, the potential of uh, dogs by transforming them into uh, custom trained, uh, life changing uh, assistance dogs for people with disabilities. And they also help vets in our community, right? Veterans, children with autism, adults with disabilities, um, and these are all provided free of charge yeah, to the that's, people. That's totally amazing. Now, talk about the demand. Uh, you mentioned, you know, there's a lot of people in need, but what kind of demand is there out there? Currently, we have 100 people on our list that have already applied and been approved for dogs. So we're waiting for the right matches for them and getting them together so that we can get more dogs out there for all the veterans that are coming home and, and all the people that really need these, you know, our, our baby boomers that are getting older, so. So you're with the volunteer puppy training program. Tell us about the training involved for you and some of the volunteers. Well, the volunteers aren't just given a puppy and sent, you know, out on their own. We supply all kinds of training. We, we take them through all the ropes. We have outings. We have, you have other puppy raisers to, check in with and see what, hey, I'm having this problem. Can you, what, what have you done with this problem? You have the total FSD staff that are we're able to help you with anything. I mean, we, you have a manual. So we really, really make sure that we're giving you everything you can to raise a successful puppy. So there's lots of support from Freedom Service Dogs. Absolutely. So where are you at with Mr. Hatchie here? What are you doing with him? I'm just kind of capturing uh, things that he does when he either staring at me right now, focusing on me, or he's sitting, giving me a sit or a down. So I'm kind of capturing all his behaviors and then that'll work into, I'll eventually add the command to it. But right now I'm just letting him do what he does and reward him for it. Tell him what, I, what it is I like that he's doing and then I don't reward what I don't want them to repeat. You have a clicker in your hand, so what does that do? Clickers are markers, so when, when Hatchie's doing something that I like, I click it and I, then I give him a treat. A clicker means, is a marker that means a treat's coming. You did something I like, a treat's coming. And they're, they're wonderful to use because they are this consistent. It's always the same noise when you make it, when you click it. It's not like if you use the word yes, it's not yes. Yes, yes. So it's, it's very consistent, which is consistency with dog training is a wonderful thing. All right, well, we're gonna move over to one of the dog trainers here at Freedom Service Dog. This is Irene Fobe, and she's got London with her. Hi there, Irene. Hi, Karen. Hey, so what can London do? Now you're training, he's a, or she is a dog in training, so what can, you, what can she do? She is great at a lot of things, but one of her favorite tasks is to tug. So today she's gonna open over the, Ah, open up the fridge for you. <laughs> All right, take it away, London. Can you can you show us what you can do? Good wow. job. She can close it too. London, push. Good job. Now, who would this task be ideal for? This would be great for a mobility client, so someone who has a hard time doing everyday things in their own home. It would help give them that independence back. 
Nice. And so talk us, tell us about the training program here. You're a dog trainer, so what do you do? I am responsible for making sure that our dogs have good obedience. So they do their sits, their downs, their stays. I also am responsible for teaching custom tasks like the one that London just did. And um, taking dogs on outings so that they know what to do when they're out in public, because things that are out in public, for us, they're normal, but for dogs, they're a little bit scary. For example, London likes the camera. <laughs> yeah, she does. All right, excellent. I'll keep, you and London, keep working on some of those tasks. Oh, yeah. All right, so Kathy, if somebody wants to get involved with Freedom Service Dogs as a volunteer quickly, what can they do? Uh, we would love to tell you more about our program. You can give us a call, 303-922-6231, uh, or you can visit our website, tons of information, freedomservicedogs.org. Awesome, well thank you so much. I think I have some training to do because these dogs are better behaved than I am. So I'm gonna throw it back to you in the studio, Jackie. Oh, stop it, Karen. <laughs> good job, love those dogs and they're doing good work. Freedom Service Dogs places dogs with veterans and people with various disabilities at no charge. Yep. Help ensure that they can continue training dogs by volunteering to be a puppy trainer or consider fostering a dog on the weekends. You can find out more about these great opportunities by calling 303-922-6231 or visit freedomservicedogs.org.